the new chain of uh, DNA grows by extending the three prime end of the primer. So uh, as you have seen in a primer template junction, one primer is present and the primer has one end which is three prime end. So the synthesis of new strand that will uh, uh, be continued on this side of the primer, that is on the three prime end of the primer. The phosphodiester bond which is formed uh, between the uh, existing uh, uh, nucleotide and the new coming nucleoside triphosphate. So this uh, bond is formed in an SN2 reaction. So in, this, in SN2 uh, reaction, the hydroxyl group of the three prime end of the primer attacks the alpha phosphoryl group of the incoming nucleoside triphosphate. So when a new uh, DNTP or any deoxynucleoside triphosphate comes, uh, when it comes to the uh, site of uh, primer template junction, the three prime end hydroxyl that attacks the alpha uh, uh, phosphoryl group of the incoming uh, nucleotide triphosphate. So the, uh, after this attack, uh, one group is uh, uh, leaving uh, the reaction and the leaving group of the reaction is pyrophosphate. So pyrophosphate, what is, what is pyrophosphate? Pyrophosphate arises from the release of uh, uh, beta and gamma phosphates of the nucleoside triphosphate. So as you uh, see in uh, uh, the OH uh, of 3 prime, it attacked the alpha phosphoryl bond. Uh, in the result of this attack, that bond uh, was broken and the two uh, uh, phosphate groups, that is the beta and gamma phosphate groups, they are released as a result of this reaction and these two uh, phosphates uh, are called pyrophosphate. So in this uh, figure uh, you can uh, see uh, this is a, a junction that is template and primer junction and uh, 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 here uh, you can see this is hydroxyl group which is three prime hydroxyl group of the primer. Uh, this is a new nucleotide uh, triphosphate which is coming to join to the uh, uh, nucleotide on this template. So this uh, as you can see uh, here if adenine is present so this uh, nucleoside triphosphate containing thiamine it comes here to uh, to be added to this uh, uh, growing chain. Uh, this uh, hydroxyl attacks on uh, this phosphate and after attack uh, you can see these, uh, these pyrophosphate, this is released and a new uh, nucleoside triphosphate or nucleotide here you can see now it is nucleotide. This is added to the primer side and again in the next step another nucleoside triphosphate will come and again this hydroxyl will attack on the alpha phosphate and again the same reaction will be repeated. So in this way the primer chain uh, grows and new DNA is synthesized. So the template strand, template strand directs the uh, uh, which of the four nucleoside triphosphates uh, is to be added. So this uh, template decides and not the primer decides which type of uh, uh, nucleotide will be added. So the incoming nucleoside triphosphate base pairs with the template strand because this is the template nucleotide which will allow the incoming nucleotide to base pair with, uh, with that. So uh, what is the driving force for the addition of nucleotide to the polynucleotide chain because new nucleotides are continuously added. So there must be some uh, uh, driving force or driving energy required for this uh, addition and for this synthesis of new molecule. So uh, the free energy uh, for this reaction is provided by the rapid hydrolysis of pyrophosphate 
as you uh, have seen, uh, 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 one byproduct, pyrophosphate, is released uh, when a new nucleotide is added. So this pyrophosphate, which is uh, uh, which consists of two phosphate groups, uh, it uh, uh, hydrolyzes, and uh, 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 after it hydrolysis, two phosphate groups are uh, produced, and the enzyme which uh, bring about the hydrolysis of pyrophosphate is called pyrophosphatase. As you know, the bond between the two uh, phosphate groups is high energy bond. So uh, when this bond uh, is hydrolyzed, uh, uh, a huge amount of energy is released and this energy is used. It is the driving force for the addition of incoming nucleotides to the existing chain. The net result of nucleotide addition and pyrophosphate hydrolysis is the simultaneous breaking of two high energy phosphate bonds. These two high energy phosphate bonds are present. One is uh, present between the alpha phosphate group and beta phosphate group. This bond is broken first and the second bond which is present between the beta phosphate group and gamma phosphate group uh, which is uh, actually present in a pyrophosphate. This is uh, again hydrolyzed. So the hydrolysis of these two high energy bonds, they release much energy uh, which drives this uh, uh, synthesis. So uh, uh, as you can see, uh, this is a, a primer template junction. And uh, when a nucleotide triphosphate comes here, it is added to the three prime side of the primer and two phosphates which is uh, a pyrophosphate this molecule this whole molecule is pyrophosphate this pyrophosphate is released and uh, in the presence of an enzyme pyrophosphatase this bond which is a high energy bond this bond is broken and two phosphate groups are released so you can see in this uh, uh, diagram that uh, whenever a new nucleotide is added, two phosphates are also released. So this is the uh, net uh, reaction at the three prime side of the primer template junction. Therefore, DNA synthesis is a coupled process. This synthesis not only uh, consists of a single reaction, that is uh, a base, uh, a nucleotide uh, uh, has come and it has joined with the uh, template uh, nucleotide. Rather, another reaction, which is the hydrolysis of pyrophosphate. So these two reactions uh, go on side by side. So this is a coupled process. This reaction, uh, another significance of this reaction is that this reaction is highly favorable with high value of equilibrium constant, which means that it is an irreversible reaction. As you have seen, the events which uh, have taken place uh, for the addition of a nucleotide to the uh, primer and template junction, uh, these, these events cannot be easily reversed because it has high value of equilibrium constant. So this reaction is irreversible.